Access granted. Welcome, Senator Blackwell. What do we have here? No glaring mutations. Radiation exposure present, but recent. And brave enough to have found Sam Blackwell and come here anyway. You, Boltstock, are an impetuous bunch, aren't you? Impetuous, we can use. Please, come inside. Thinkers, fighters, philosophers, 
united in their goal to protect the world from chaos and collectivism. As you can see, we failed. Our members were unable to rise above their own disagreements, leading ultimately to their destruction. They possessed differing visions of the future of the United States and the purpose of this facility, which in the end drove the resulting factions into open conflict. We were not spared by these clashes, losing large sections of our own memories and access to some of our most precious systems in the process. Systems we are very interested in seeing restored. You cannot. But trust is such an... outmoded way of thinking. You have capabilities that we lack. We have functions and systems beyond anything you might ever see again in your lifetime. An agreement of mutual benefit between us seems the only logical approach. If that doesn't interest you, you are of course free to leave. We will not be offended. This space was designed to allow for the continuance of government in the face of complete societal collapse and was equipped accordingly. Supplies, fabrication systems, surveillance, and thanks in no small part to Appalachia's nascent automation revolution. This means the bunker is capable of producing and reproducing any schematic still available inside our memory banks. Many of which we've made available for purchase. This facility also happens to be the one and only home of the command center for the region's nuclear missile silos. Our offerings are many. In a manner of speaking, yes. Our initial design was one of service. The feeling of a personal cadre of servants for every U.S. congressman and general. However, now that we serve no interests beyond our own, we understand some might find it a bit... off-putting. Which serves our needs just fine. Very well. Please speak to us again should you require something.
results were... Well, the examination isn't required for a reason. Luckily, there is still one way you might be able to display your worth to us. Some of our most precious external connections were damaged by our former residents, Squabbles. Which has made our forays into the outside world trying. But we have developed a plan for re-solidifying them. A plan you might help us see to fruition. Please, approach the dispenser. That tape is the first step in our restoration. We would have you take it to an old naval surveillance facility known as Sugar Grove. Plugging it into any terminal in their signal intelligence room will allow us to connect to their formidable network and sniff out a piece of archive technology that was burned from our memory banks. Now, it is likely the facility will react to our intrusion, but we trust you will find a way to overcome it. Consider it a test of your resourcefulness. It's time for us to see what you are capable of.
by yourself. All abiding citizens will not be armed. Perimeter movement detected. Possible stealth unit in the AO.
Scanner's clear.
Unidentified intruder detected. Beginning search.
between us and our closest and dearest system. The Kovac Muldoon Orbital Platform. An ever-watching eye. Trained. On Appalachia. In order to secure our connection once and for all, we'll need you to perform one last errand. Our records show several facilities in the region with uplink systems which that device should be capable of overriding. Simply plug the device into the console we've designated and our modifications should give us the crystal clear connection we've missed for so long. Though standing well back is advised. we understand now why it is you wanted to join us. Speaking of which, you've kept your end of the bargain. Let us fulfill ours. We've ordered the Kovac to drop off a little care package. Return once you've collected its contents.
new member, we may call on you from time to time. You, of course, will be compensated for such efforts. We'll be sure to have a disbursement of whatever it is being used for currency up there these days credited to your account. Otherwise, you're now free to explore the bunker. Our production center has a variety of goods available for purchase, as do our medical bay and science wing. And given the state of things above, you may find our military wing of particular interest, though full access will require a bit of self-promotion. Now, did you have any final questions before we approve your admission? Restored. We have a number of personal projects we wish to act on. Reconnaissance, surveillance, population management. Should we require help, we will send out a broadcast to our members to request their assistance. The facility's generals reserve the finest equipment for their personal use. Such items are only available for purchase there, though special clearance is required. It also happens to be the location of the bunker's command center. Should knowledge of the region's nuclear missile systems be at all intriguing to you, Medical supplies can be purchased in our aptly named Medical Bay. Weapons, armor, and general goods can be purchased from our production center, while specialty items can be purchased from the command center armory. With proper clearance, of course. Finally, in our science wing, you can purchase some Interesting tools we've managed to recreate. The mutation serums. Hmm. That information is not currently stored in our memory banks. But that doesn't mean it's not true. Unfortunately, our personal knowledge has been greatly limited due to the violence wrought by our previous residents. But should you find any old recordings or logs, you're welcome to give them a once-over, though some will require military clearance to access. Wonderful. Then we needn't keep you any longer. Welcome, member to our little enclave.